Hey folks, today I'm doing a review of the outstanding High Noon Holsters. It's the Slide Guard model. And as you see, I am wearing a standard polo shirt. And I know some of you out there like to point out which side I'm carrying on, whatever, you might see something. But you notice the um, High Noon Holster, the Slide Guard, it conceals very well just a standard polo shirt. Ah, that's not it. That's my iPhone case. Some of you might have thought that was it. It's not. It's right here. Hidden very well. It's an outside the waistband holster, but it's still hidden very well with the polo shirt. This is the holster right here. I have my Kimber Solo in here. It's a really nice looking holster, as you see. So we're going to head to the table and do uh, a review on it. So this here is the Slide Guard model from High Noon Holsters. It's an extremely handsome looking holster. When I first pulled this out of the package, it really struck me. The leather on this is, is a large grain leather and it's really, really nice looking. And when you take that with the contrast of the yellow stitching, it's very pleasing to the eye. The lines here where you see where my handgun has been imprinted or formed into the leather. And these are hand formed by the way. Um, but seeing the pistol outline on here makes it look even even nicer. This thing, it's, it's funny when I first pulled it out of the package, the craftsmanship on this is so precise that it almost looks like a fake plastic reproduction. Um, that's how nice it looks. And this video here and any pictures that you see on their website do not do justice to holding it in your hand up close. It's a very, very nice holster. But I can assure you it's, it's not a plastic reproduction. This is the real deal right here. Um, smells like really nice little, uh, leather, which I love the smell of leather. Um, and uh, it's built extremely well. Double stitching where it needs to be double stitched. These lines here are, I, I believe it, it's, it might be for the lining. Yeah, this, this one here is a line holster. So these lines right here are more for the lining. But even if you didn't get lined, these lines would still be here. But it's, it's more for decoration. These right here, this is the where the uh, stitching comes into play. This one here is the cowhide tan. Comes in the right hand or left hand, of course. Um, is a tension screw. When I first got it, it was a little bit tight, but if you go on our website, they recommend um, wrap a sheet of wax paper around your holster and then put it in here and then wiggle it just a little bit. And since doing that, it's fit very well. It's semi-rigid, which is perfect. You don't want it too rigid, but you want it rigid enough when it, you know, when it fits on your belt. You want it to. You don't want it to slop over or anything like that. This one here is made for a Kimber Solo. It's in very nice. Covers the muzzle. Uh, I mean, the end is open, but I mean, it, it covers it where none of the slide is sticking out. Also has a complete trigger guard cover, so you're not going to accidentally hit the trigger or anything like that. This. Um, on the High Noon website, it tells you it's manufactured with a special made for High Noon holsters only full of grain leather. So it does look unique to any the, the grain on it to anything that I have personally seen on a market. It's uh, designed for a faster draw and it is molded to specific models. Now you could go to their website and look at all the models that their holsters are made for and there's hundreds if not thousands of guns that they make holsters for so whatever you have pretty much they'll make it. This one here is the slide guard and as the name implies the slide is guarded against your skin so it has this part. It also comes in a topless model which is uh, the holster without the slide guard. Uh, some people prefer that. And it also comes with a model called the snapper, which is the same as this, but it's got a leather snap across the top. 
that's nice for some people. You really don't need it. I mean, it grabs the holster well enough. It's not going to fall out. So you won't have any issues with that. This one uh, it has a 15 degree Ford cant. Even though the leather does cover the uh, whole slide, it is considered an open muzzle design. And it comes in tan, black, or a natural finish cowhide. This one here is tan. And in horsehide, it comes in black or natural finish. And they also give you the option of line or unlined. Um, and it is IDPA approved. The cowhide MSRP on it is $99.95. Lined cowhide is $129.95. And their horsehide model is $149.95. And when you go to their website, they have all kinds of views. They have close ups uh, of uh, each particular color. Horsehide, cowhide, they have close ups, they have extreme close ups. So you'll get a good feel for the holster. Uh, these are also made, it has a very generous slot right here. It's made to fit up to a one and three quarter belt loop, although they recommend one and a half. I actually, I have a, my belt is a military belt and it's one and three quarters and it fits perfectly. So, I've um, fairly new to concealed carry, as I've mentioned before. Wisconsin just allowed us to, or I should say, stopped infringing upon our right to bear arms. So I'm fairly new to it. However, being a writer and doing these reviews on YouTube, I've been fortunate enough to try several different holsters. And I'll say this high noon holster is, it, it ranks up at the top of my list of the holsters I've tried. It's an outstanding holster. I would highly recommend it. And I guess I've, you know, I've developed a taste for leather holsters and I think there's a lot of great quality materials out there. So I'm not going to knock the Kydex or any of the other ones. Um, and on occasion I, I could even carry some of those other ones. So, you know, I'm not knocking those other ones, but for me, Leather is the way to go. And as far as leather holsters go, like I said, this High Newton holster, it's outstanding. One of the best top holsters that I have personally tried and reviewed on my channel. So as I said, this is a holster made by High Noon Holsters out of Florida. And this particular model here is the Slide Guard holster. If you have any questions, let me know. Semper Fi.